doesn't want to file a report with HR, but Morgan would like to talk about some indecency here on this show with one particular person. Yeah, so I went to pick up Lunchbox for our Sonic commercial, and he walked out of the house without wearing a shirt. Okay. He said his shirts in his hand were drying, so he gets into my car without a shirt. And then yesterday I showed up to work, he walks in without a shirt. Work. At work, like in the hallway. I'm like, what? why are you doing this? Like, why is it so hard for you to have clothes on, especially around the women that you work with all the time? This is now two times it's happened. You couldn't really do that in any other office, just walking around with no shirt on. Uh, your thoughts? Oh, yeah, I bike to work, and so I'm really sweaty when I get here, so I take my wet shirt off uh, in the bike um, rack. I put it, and I hang it, and then so I need that blast of cold air when I walk in here to kind of slow the sweat down, and so that's why I walk into the building without a shirt on, and then I go get changed and get ready for the show. It's um, You feel like it's indecent? No, I don't think it's indecent. Like, I mean, you walk down the street, there's people with their shirts off all the time, uh, there's like people peeing on the side of the street, but you wouldn't do that in the hallway. <laughs> That's true. Ah, there's not really that many. I mean, they go behind you a tree can. usually. Yeah, I've seen them. But uh, so, yeah, I don't think it's indecent. It's just a, it's like going to the pool. If she went to H, but again, it's the pool. If she went to HR and said, hey, he's got a shirt off. Walk I don't think they'd mind. You don't? No. I think it's more of, hey, I am going to the, they don't have a, if they had a shower, that'd be different, but they don't. Well, this so, is work. But some works have showers. Some works have daycare. Some works That'd be have, legit, too. Yeah, they have a lot I mean, a lot of works have different things. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think it's indecent. I mean, it's not like I'm showing any, I mean, I'm showing off my, my figure, but that's not indecent. Your nipples. You're showing your nipples. It's weird you'd say figure and not body, <laughs> by the way. I don't, know what, I don't know what you'd call it. Body. I mean, if I Chest. walked in without a shirt, wouldn't people be like, No, we'd what be is like, legit. Doing? <laughs> oh, my gosh. There'd be yeah, no we'd be like, Morgan, put your shirt on. Yeah. We, we would not complain. I would not. Morgan, if you want to walk in without your shirt on, <laughs> hey, you do it all you want. Another age complaint. Okay. Right? Let's say, Morgan, please put a shirt on. Anyway, See? you complain. And Lunchbox, if you walked in here without a shirt on, if it wasn't for a bit, I would be like, Lunchbox, put your shirt on. No, no, I do. Yeah, I put, here's what I'm going to say. I do put my shirt on. The, the fact that it's Morgan, you're in luck. Because, again, she doesn't say she's going to go tell on you. But if it were somebody else in the office that doesn't know you and you're walking on the, they could easily go to HR. And then you don't have an excuse because you, somebody who doesn't know you and it's like he's walking around shirtless, I feel uncomfortable, and then they have to suspend you. And then I would tell him, no, what happens is I but ride my matter. bike to work. It doesn't They don't care. And then you know what? That person complained on me. Guess what? I'm going to complain about them. What did they do? I'll figure it out. You they make something up? They looked at me weird. Made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> oh. Cool. Wow. My only point is just be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm careful. It was one of us. If it wasn't one of us, you could have gotten a lot of trouble. I don't want to see you get in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I don't want to get in trouble either. So just change shirts while you're in the room. No, no, no. I can't do you it. You need that, that gust of air. Well, what's, the, what's the room? Just keep the a towel with you and yeah, wipe the, yourself down the, and put a shirt on. The stairwell, I, I take my shirt off in there, and then I come into the hallway where the blast of cold air hits me. And There's no like, blast. The air is just colder. Just you. I would not be walking around with a shirt on because it will get you in trouble with other people. Okay, I won't walk around with my shirt on. You just said don't walk You know around. what I mean. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Shirtless. <sighs> Science experiment. Social experiment. And I don't know why he wants to do it, but Eddie, please tell them what you'd like for one of us to try. I was just thinking randomly, like if you ate a pound of food, would you weigh a pound more? Like just, you know, like say you ate four quarter pounders. That's a pound. Well, to be fair, though, too, the quarter pound meat is a quarter pounder before it's cooked. But then there's also the bread as well. It, okay, it, well, it we can weigh the food. Yeah. So you're wondering, and I think this is actually something that I'm interested in. If the food you eat <laughs> translates exactly to you putting that much more weight on on a scale. I mean, it's a pound of food. It's a pound of because food. Because if you were to take a pound weight and just put it on your neck, it'd be, you'd be a pound heavier. Correct. Amy, it, what, do you, what do you think? Yeah, I'm thinking like if you hold the food, I'm curious. It'd be a pound heavy. Yeah, it would be. Mm, yeah. Like it, yeah. So it, it needs to be more than a pound, though. Down. So two-pound burrito. But how, So who would eat a two-pound burrito for 30 bucks? Lunchbox. Anybody? What is the standard burrito weight? I don't know. Does so anything weigh two pounds? I don't know. We can make How it, though. How much is a pound of... Ooh, I bet you my chicken probably weighs a oh, whole I bet chicken. You, I'll bet you a uh, burrito bowl from Chipotle weighs two pounds. No, no chance. No yeah. chance. Yes. A bowl? Yeah, they get pretty heavy. They get pretty heavy. But that's with the bowl, right? The weight of burrito was nearly is nearly 32 ounces compared to the... Uh, yeah. It says it says it here based on the data Ray, weight of it? a Chipotle burrito, it's one point three two pounds. Well, you eat two 
Well, you eat three pounds of food for 50 bucks on the air. 50, it's upped a little bit. I like that. Uh, the burrito <laughs> needs to be paid for. I'll pay for the food. Okay. <laughs> Whatever the food is, if I bring in three pounds of food. Three now? So basically three burritos. Because we oh need to see a God. difference. I just don't know if I can eat that much. I, I would. I believe I could eat two pounds, but three's pushing. I mean, that's like three meals in one. Two pounds works. Three pounds for $60. I can Ooh. do three pounds for 100 <laughs> I physically, I'm not Joey Chestnut. Two and a half pounds for 50. <laughs> You're going to get your answer to your equation for one pound. I don't know why you got to do but, the three. But if Bobby's saying two and a half, you should take it because it's literally like two burritos. Two and, and a half pounds, 50 a bucks. Scale. You realize Ray eats like a little mouse. Like he eats a little chicken quesadilla. He does. Like he, he doesn't he eat does. very much. I mean, oh. I would do I would do the two and a half if we could do the hundred. The hundred what? That lunch said. I want dollars? dollars? Yeah. <laughs> lunch is putting up a hundred dollars? No, no. Wait, this I, is I never said a hundred. <laughs> Eddie, two and well, a half pounds, fifty bucks. I, I can't eat that much. Like I wouldn't be able to do it. Like I would sit here for hours and be like, give me another hour, I can't eat it. I guess we won't do the bit then. I'll do it. I I, I mean, you ain't gonna go to hundred? I'm not. Fifty bucks is my max. You said sixty. He did, you did but, I, but, but now I've dropped back down. No, 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 but no, no, sixty no. was for three pounds. I'll put ten on it since it's my experiment. Well, sixty was for three pounds. Oh, no, three no, pounds. Two and 60. A half. No, no, you said you'd put ten. So it's seventy for three pounds. Sixty for me. One, one, ten for Eddie. Easy. I can eat three pounds of food. Okay, so we won't do it today. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> and we, we're gonna do burritos. We're gonna weigh it. Well, it doesn't matter. Just find three pounds of food and weigh it. Well, it has Eddie. to be something I can eat. Like, yeah, I, we'll, not, we'll check with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not eating just. Like, what's your favorite food ever? I don't know. Tempe tapa tapas. <laughs> tempe tapa tapas. Peanut tempe tacos. <laughs> they don't Figure have out your anymore. food. We'll get three pounds of it. We want you to eat it. We want to weigh you immediately after. Because it has to be fresh, man. I can't be eating like cold. We're not picking it from the farm or bringing it right here. No, no, no. I'm yes. saying it can't be cold like been sitting for we a day. We will figure out your food. Thank you. Three pounds of it. You eat it on the show. You'll get paid $70. And we want to see if you weigh exactly three pounds more. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you, can I tell you the answer to the science experiment? What? It's no. Because if you go in the bathroom and you release some things, you get back on the scale, you don't weigh any different. Not accurate. That's not true. That's just not true at all. He's no. saying if you, if, if like, you go number two yes. and whatever you lost in there. You... Yeah, it's it's very small, but yes, it, that's not accurate at all. Got it. It's just wrong. But we're three pounds. Let's do it. For $70 we'll do... plus for $70. Eddie's 10 is $80. No, no, no. Well, 60 70. from me, 10 from, one, from Eddie. <laughs> Tomorrow, Monday, whenever we'll do it, we'll do three pounds of food. Gotta find food. Everybody feel good about that? <laughs> yeah. All right, here's a voicemail. This is Gavin in Oklahoma. Hey, um, I'm just going into sixth grade. I was just hoping to, for any uh, tips, advice, anything. Love the show, Lunchbox. My man. Mm. What a smart sixth grader. Wow. Lunchbox, you can give him advice. Sixth grader? Dude, just own the school. Watch out for the eighth graders. Don't make any enemies early on. You know, just... Kind of stay in your lane the first couple of weeks. Those eighth graders are looking for little punks that are sticking out, and they're going to put you in your place to so just avoid them the first couple of weeks. Then it's smooth sailing. And find the hottest chick in class and make friends with her. Amy? Yeah, I was going to say, try not to focus on, you know, girls or guys or whatever you're into. Because sixth grade, look, this is the time where you set yourself up for success in junior high for high school. So, I don't know. I would get to know the teachers. No. no and teacher. do all what? your homework. And go to bed early, drink lots of water, Atta stuff girl. like that. Because I, I wish I had trained myself in sixth grade to do all that. In sixth grade, you're starting to be exposed to a lot of the things that you will be exposed to later. But it's like the early part of that, and it could get you in trouble. So I'm going to say, look, you're in sixth grade. There are going to be older kids that are like, hey, drink some beer. Hey, smoke this in sixth grade. This is when it starts It Whoa. starts to happen. Yeah. Just, just stay away from it for now. There will be a time. Whenever that time, it's not it's not right now, kid. Just for, for your sake, stay away from those influences during this year. We can readdress it in seventh grade. I'm going to probably say the same thing, but you just at some point, it's just everywhere because you're older and a lot of kids are just, just a lot of bad influence. Yep. Sixth grade, stay away from that for one year, and then we'll talk about it again next year because you'll have older and, and if you're like, I need to do this, they're older. If you do it or you don't do it, they don't care anything about you either way. They're older. They're just trying to get a kid to do something funny drink a beer right okay good point if like this is the age like the sixth seventh eighth grade range that's this is the age where you develop a lot of habits and it's going to be either good ones or unhealthy ones bad ones stay away from the beer kid yeah sixth grade wow. keep your head down because it's there it that's starts, crazy it starts to be Focus. there okay there you go thank you it's, it's a Bobby Bones show. Hey.